Well, when James was um, uh, a little boy and had started to, um, as, he, sorry, as, he, as he was growing up, we became aware of this problem he got with guitar, uh, to the point that we were even on the local news um, about it and were interviewed. Um, and it was just that he was very sort of chesty and lots of guitar and, and I'm afraid that the combination of that with cow's milk was, just wasn't good uh, and resulted in, resulted in him being quite sick, um, particularly at night time. And uh, it was suggested to me by a friend that maybe it was the cow's milk he wasn't digesting um, or it was just too heavy for him in some way. Um, so we tried goat's milk. Um, and that was just it was pretty much an instant cure. It was literally within 24 hours, 48 hours. He was a different baby, and we could give him the same amount of milk at night time because he was a hungry baby. Um, and um, and he'd, he'd settle really easily, and it just it seemed to suit him. It, it just, and all the guitar and all the issues that we thought maybe he got asthma or not were, were pretty much cleared up. Pretty much as soon as he went onto the goat's milk, it was the transformation not just for James's life but for the whole family's life was was uh, really uh, very very noticeable because we'd had every night one of us having to go back into him and trying to settle him. Maybe he'd been sick, maybe uh, he hadn't settled properly, um, and that is exhausting really, night after night, and, and it's worrying, really worrying that you, you think you're not doing your best by your baby really. Um, so the fact that we found something that we knew was still doing him a lot of good, that he really enjoyed and, and was happy to drink, uh, um, and it was fine. We, our, our lives sort of returned to normal. Everybody got some sleep, uh, and it was, you know, it was great.